A Monster Calls is directed by J.A. Bayona, and it stars Louis McDougall, Felicity Jones, Sigourney Weaver, and Liam Neeson. And this movie is based off of the book of the same name. So the story goes that a boy named Connor, played by Louis McDougall, is going through a very rough time because his mother is slowly dying. And naturally, he does not take this very well, as his emotional state throughout the film keeps getting worse and worse. Until one night when he's visited in his dreams by the monster, voiced by Liam Neeson, who helps him through this very trying time. Now, I had never seen a film by J.A. Bayona before this one. I knew that he was going to be directing the next Jurassic World movie, but I had never seen anything other than that. Personally. I thought this movie was incredible, so hats off to you, J.A. Firstly, all of the acting in this movie was fantastic. Louis McDougall has a bright future ahead of him. Felicity Jones was great. She played the dying mother. I thought she was better than her performance in Rogue One. I also thought Sigourney Weaver was pretty good, although her accent was a little bit... Mm, and Liam Neeson was perfect as the monster. I couldn't see anybody else voicing the monster than Liam Neeson. Really, every single actor played their part brilliantly because you really felt the weight that Felicity Jones' character was going to die. And that just that's just very naturally sad. I felt sad throughout this entire movie. But in my opinion, this is one of the best movies to come out in the past five years or so. We'll say five years for a specific reason. Because I feel like that this is one of the best movies to address how someone grieves. Especially when you consider that Connor in this movie is like 10 or 11 years old. So this is very traumatic. But this is only another terrible part of his life to add on to his already terrible life. Connor has a father that does keep up appearances, but he has his own separate life to lead. So he's not always there. Sigourney Weaver is the grandmother. You can tell that she does care, but again, she has her own life to think about. So she, she often gives the appearance of not caring as much. Not to mention that Connor is constantly bullied at, at his school. Take all of those elements and you combine them, it turns Connor into one emotional handful. But when Connor is, is hearing these three stories from the monster, or three tales from the monster, it's strangely therapeutic for him. The only thing is that Connor doesn't know he's going through the stages of grief. Through his meetings with the monster, Connor is going through a very real situation in a very unreal manner. It's in this light that Connor is going through these things with the monster. I find a lot of similarities to the movie called called Where the Wild Things Are, which is based off of the popular book of that same name. In that both kids, in both movies, deal with very real situations in very unreal ways. And so the bottom line is this. I think A Monster Calls is a movie for anyone to watch. You can admire the great acting and the great direction by J.A. Bayona, or you could watch the movie and find the deeper meanings that involve grief and loss. Anyway, this is a movie for anyone and everyone to connect to, which is why, even though we're only in the first week of January, I think this may be one of my favorite movies of the year. Again, this is just the first week of January, but I think, I think I'm calling it now. A Monster Calls may be one of my favorite movies of the year. And that is all for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the big red subscribe button below. I want to make 2017 a big year for me on this channel. So I, so cheers to you 2017. It's going to be an epic year for me. Thank you all so much for watching. 
My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.